Hey folks, the Desert Artist here. I got a posting of a meme or meme or whatever they're called. It said, it's scary to think that one day we're going to have to live without our mother or father or brother or husband or wife. Or that one day we're going to have to walk this earth without our best friend by our side or them without us. Appreciate your loved ones while you can because none of us are going to be here forever. There's no need to be scared or afraid as long as they believe in Jesus Christ. My reply, unless you believe in Jesus Christ, then you shall be granted passage unto the kingdom of heaven. But you have the right to continue to disbelieve through the skill of free will. Only by believing in Jesus are we granted passage into the kingdom of heaven. There is no other way. Thank you, Jesus, for sacrificing yourself on the cross for our sins. It is equally as scary for us Christians to believe that someday we will also have to live in the kingdom of heaven without those beloved people and friends whom we have met here on earth. That in itself is the whole reason why us Christians try so hard to make unbelievers believers. It is not the fact that we are trying to push our religion on anybody. It is that we too are scared of living in the kingdom of heaven without our beloved friends and family. Have you been forgiven for your sins? Have you asked for repentance from your sins? Are you, is your soul clean? Please, I ask you, heaven and hell are absolutely real. There is only one choice to be able to gain entrance into the kingdom of heaven, and that is through the belief of Jesus Christ. Please, I ask you, please, ask for forgiveness from your sins. The question is posed, how shall a Christian live in order to enter the kingdom of God? The Lord said, in speaking to Nicodemus, was very clear. He said, unto, he said in John 3.3, 3, Jesus answered, and I say unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. To be born again is literally to be born from above. This speaks of a new and heavenly birth. 2 Corinthians 5.17 speaks of that new life. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold! All things are become new. By being born again, or born from above, we become brand new creatures in the sight of God, and become partakers of the kingdom of God. Speaking of this new life, the Lord Jesus said in John 10.10, 10, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. The Lord Jesus came into this world to provide us with this new life. This life is offered to us, on the basis of his death. The Apostle Paul said in Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. What a remarkable truth! The Lord Jesus and the very Son of God loved us and offered himself a sacrifice to God to pay for our sin debt and to give us new life, life eternal. Speaking of those who have put their faith in Him, the Lord Jesus says in John 10.28, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So we see it's not how we live that allows us entrance into the kingdom of God. It's the fact that we have life that allows us entrance and that life is in Christ Jesus. The Lord said He gives us eternal life. It's not something to be earned. It's something simply to be received. We read of this gift in Romans 6.23. For the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord has a gift for each one of us. The gift of eternal life. He wants no man to perish or go to hell for eternity. Second Peter 3.9 tells us that the Lord is not willing any should perish, but that all should come to repentance.
Have you come in to the Lord? Have you come to the Lord in repentance of your sins and taken his gift of eternal life by believing in the Lord Jesus Christ? If you put your faith in him, he will receive you, give you new life that comes from being born again and make you part of the kingdom of God. This is Desert Artist. I'm out of here. I love you guys.